Where we're double the toast, double the topics, and double the fun. I'm Dan. I'm Sarah. <laughs> double the toast. Double I'm the going toast. for it. I'm just going to rock it. No, I love Nobody it. will no. notice. No, okay. If you, if you listen to and me, I'm practice, Alan. Okay. <laughs> I'm Charity, and I had to stop to make fun of Dan because that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> Double actually, that's toast, bre- breakfast bacon, bogey. I like this, eggs. actually. Let's do this as a show. <laughs> <laughs> what you got for us today, Dan? You know what? I don't like even breakfast. remember anymore. No, now it's breakfast. breakfast. Now I'm thinking about breakfast food, actually. <laughs> so thank you very much. I'm going to go get some after this. What's up? Yeah. Boons <laughs> over my hammy? Is that what oh, it is? Oh, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> thank you, so, Alan, for the dad. As Alan has yeah. mentioned, we are talking about the moon today, Ooh. which is the only Ooh. celestial body in our sky besides the sun that is always av- uh, visible yeah. at all times. Oh, that's true. I mean, to some people, yeah. anyway. Yeah, that's I don't true. know. Yeah. I'm just making stuff up at this point because that's what we do here. That's so. right. <laughs> there's there's moons at night, right? <laughs> Sometimes you see the moon. It's there even if you don't see it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Got to believe it by faith. So, I, you know, we were going to talk about... I I actually don't know a lot about the moon. So my wife's a big fan of the moon. She's like, we, we like looking at see it. But like, yeah, that's what I always think Obviously. about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the face, you know, and they that's shoot right. the little missile with all the people that's in it right. and it lands in the eye. It's really depressing. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was like the worst documentary I've ever seen. Uh, that's, a very, that's a very specific yeah, reference. Very specific. <laughs> trip, trip to the Moon, 1903. Watch yeah, that's it. right. <laughs> Georges right. Millier. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, Actually, their, and their their uniforms for traveling. Spot on. Oh, yeah. Spot just, on. Just looking <laughs> real if nice. you don't want to watch the movie, which I think is still available on HBO Max or Max now that they call yeah, it or whatever, yeah. you can watch Hugo, which is about oh, that movie. That. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Or about, about the director. Well, it's about, about the director. Yeah, I guess it's true. It's about the director, but it's yeah. kind of that whole filmmaking process, mm-hmm. which right. I think is fascinating. It so. was. But that's not what we're talking about today. What are we talking <laughs> we're about? We're talking about the moon. Okay. The real moon. That's right. The one and only moon that we see sometimes. So it is the It's the one with the flag in it. That's the one that we planted the flag flag okay. in and yeah. that we other places it. have tried to go to and we were like no sir you can't do that yeah, can't that's do our that. like, that's our right. moon it's claimed you, you can have it you can have the next moon that comes around the next moon. Right. our, our right. craters yeah, are red white and blue <laughs> that's right. well they're full of salsa and chips <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they are cheese salsa chips i'm going yeah. Yeah, all right. right i'm getting on uh was it blue sky or whatever it's called yeah, right. i'm like mr bezos take me to the moon <laughs> <laughs> you have like a fork in one hand. That's right. Yeah, it's like I'm ready. Get, get my babe. You know, <laughs> you know astronaut outfits. Uh, <laughs> <dinner. laughs> ready to eat up. So, no. It's, uh, actually, I we were going to talk about some interesting facts because there are things you look up the moon all the time, and it's different shapes, different sizes, yes. right? And some people think about it that a lot, and yeah. some people don't think about it at all. They're just like, hey, it's kind of dark out. Why? Because the moon's you know new or right. whatever it is. So I think we're going to start off, and I don't know if there's like a specific order that we want to go into in terms of like the moon phases but i know that that's part of what we're going to talk about yeah so. i don't think i had it uh fully chronological so i guess you can just so let's on. just start off with one so uh, i always thought this was the most interesting one there's waxing and ways- waning phases right. mm-hmm. and i never can tell which is which never and there's also another weird word that i never heard of waxing gibbous. gibbous that's right yeah which is like i always think of monkeys that's right. That's a gibbon. Oh, it's a gibbon. Oh, right. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, that's what I think right. of. So I'm just like, <laughs> waxing monkeys. You know the moon? You know? You know the moon just like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a band. It does sound like monkeys. Monkeys. Waxing, waxing gibbons. Oh, waxing. <laughs> waxing monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> no. They need so. to stay away from my monkeys. So in. <laughs> <laughs> You know, waxing uh, gibbous actually is um, uh, most of the moon's day side is in view. So it's like not as bright as a full moon, but it is like very bright at the time. So I think it's. You can see edge to edge? Yeah. So like waxing is. So, yeah, exactly. You can kind of. Or you almost see the edge to edge, okay, but gotcha. it's also like very bright. And also, um, I guess waxing would be it's uh, going toward the full moon as uh-huh. opposed to away from uh, away from it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like getting brighter and you're getting more full as you're watching that. So that's what a waxing gibbous is I always okay. saw of it like almond shaped you know because like if you if you do see the moon as like a full circle mm-hmm. yeah you just kind of yeah you just see like the main edge and it kind of right. Because it's not it's, crescent, it's kind of bulbous, yeah. Yeah. right? Right, yeah. So, so that's how I knew. At least in school, that's how I knew the difference between a waning and a wax. Yeah. Because you know, waning. Because you think the waning, waning is getting smaller, so I always think like almost like crescent, like mm-hmm. so it gets yeah. smaller. That's the only way that I remembered it from school. So waning, that, yeah. Because yeah. waning's like waning away. It can yeah. get complicated. Yeah. It can absolutely. Yeah. I mean, for, it fascinated everyone for millennia. 
Yeah. That is true. In fact, in um, Central America, the, the Aztecs, um, they have these uh, reflection pools. And mm. you, you think of nowadays, modern times, reflection pools would be like where you go to like meditate, to pray and things like that. No, no, no. A reflection pool is to look down at it to see up oh. and to see the reflection of the stars and the skies and moon and, and oh, see what cool. it would be. That way you're not craning your neck, you know, looking yeah. up at the sky you're all the time. Down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you're craning your neck to look down. That's right. You're looking, yeah. You're... Oh, you can do whatever you want. You could probably go swimming. But then it wouldn't be very reflective. <laughs> no. I'm going swimming with the moon. Leave me alone, Mom. You know, in this, this year, this October, we had a uh, eclipse. Uh, right. recently yes. that we couldn't see here I know it was because cloudy. it was way oh, too cloudy. I know. It was so cloudy. Yeah. yeah. I could yeah. Uh, and we we were actually on our way up to Manhattan and we knew that it was going to start at about 10:20. So we erroneously thought that that's when the eclipse was going to happen. Oh. Uh, I learned something. An eclipse does not happen in an American timetable, which is right now when I pulled over on the side of the road to see it. Uh, it takes hours <laughs> yeah. for it to happen. I think but it was it like was, 1115 or something was like its peak. Or, yeah. yeah. And, mm, and it was, okay. um, we were waiting, but it was really cool to see the moon as it was approaching. So you could see it from where you're at when we you were could. driving. Okay. In, oh. a, in the breaks in the clouds. In the clouds. Okay. Yeah. But uh, Do you have the little glasses? We did, like which you can see them. nothing. You can only yeah. <laughs> really see the sun right. and mm-hmm. the corona or whatnot when with those glasses. Yeah. I mean, they're as safe as it gets. <laughs> but as we were driving and we were going to go see a performance, um, so the, the Central Kansas Marching Band Festival, which is held in Manhattan, Kansas at K-State, that's what we were traveling to. And so the... The eclipse happened while we were in the stadium. Oh. No change. No really? change. It did not get dark <laughs> at all. Interesting. And I don't know if it was already dark because it was a super overcast right, day. But right. I, I heard from both uh, South Central Kansas and then all the way up to Manhattan, like it was a total bust. Anybody okay. that wanted to see it. Uh, but there's another one coming. The big one is in April. The big one. Mm-hmm. The big one. Yeah. Okay. I just remember, was that 2018 where everyone was all hyped up about the eclipse? Yeah. It was. That's the one where the yeah. uh, where Donald Trump like yeah. stared up. It's at the only the thing sun. I remember. Yeah. It was just like, hey, don't stare at the sun. He's like, yeah. He's like, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. That's yeah, it. that's right. Because me and Trini were like, we were kind of looking. We're like, where, where is it? You know, I felt like I always feel like we get shortchanged whenever the cool things happen because it's like it doesn't seem to be where we are. Uh huh. No. Everyone else like, did you? see it did you see i'm like i saw nothing yeah stop yeah. talking to me there's no such thing as an eclipse <laughs> yeah. <Fake news. laughs> right. even just a few months ago the aurora borealis was like coming down so low and yeah. it like stopped in nebraska and i was like oh of my course gosh it did. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm like I, like this overpass kansas I guess, right. you know? well something that we're very familiar with is the full moon oh yes. the full and moon. so the full moon is as close as we come to seeing the sun's illumination of the entire day side of the moon so Technically, this would be the real half moon. The moon is opposite the sun as viewed Mm -hmm. from Earth, revealing the moon's day side. A full moon rises around sunset and sets around sunrise. The moon will appear full for a couple of days before it moves into... A werewolf. Ah, (laughs) That's when you got to be on your toes. (laughs) (laughs) That's why you look at yeah, you just hear howling in the distance. Yeah, you're like, oh, the thriller's starting. <laughs> 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 that would be funny if you do just hear like whispering <laughs> into your ear. Whoa! Yeah, yeah that, that's not concerning at all. Yeah, yeah I always just do that old joke, be like, oh, it's a full moon. Woo. <laughs> I remember a few years ago, it's probably about I don't know, maybe a decade, maybe a little less, but it was actually a full moon on October, and it was like Friday the thirteenth. So it was like all of a sudden, I was like, oh no, full moon Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's turning into something, That's you know. Right. So that it was just, it was just everybody was all freaking out, and I was just like, <laughs> you know, if I see fur, you know, growing, I'm just like, well, <laughs> time to shave your legs. Yeah. <laughs> time to replace the razor blade <laughs> <laughs> with like a weed whacker. You know? yeah. That is the one thing I'll give Kansas though is like because yeah. of the distance that you mm-hmm. can see when the full moon, like when it's close and it's like low in the sky, it's huge. It's, it's awesome huge. looking. Yeah, we get the mm-hmm. yeah. and the girls when they were little. They called it the the Cookie Moon. The Cookie Moon. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, wasn't there uh, on Sesame Street? Didn't Cookie 
Cookie Monster do a song about how the moon if looked like a cookie? If the moon or was a cookie. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. <laughs> That's I don't want to hear more. Yeah. <laughs> and then he eats the moon. He yeah. eats it, yep. <laughs> And that's pretty good. And it's in the, everybody's in the in dark. In the dark, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, speaking of dark, I, I think that's the, the new moon, new moon, right? New moon. Yep. Yeah, the new moon. Yeah, because I know one of them was like, it's completely dark, mm-hmm. completely dark outside, which, I don't know, I always thought that was redundant, because it's already dark, and I'm like, now there's no light at all. And I feel like, I don't, I don't know if we've had one recently, admittedly, I haven't like, you know, been researching, mm-hmm. but there was one night about two weeks ago, and it, it did seem really pitch black, and I, I felt like it didn't help that there was like, no like street lights on at all and i'm like there ain't no moon I'm having to rely on just regular car lights and so i was wondering if it was like a new moon that night because mm. there was like nothing in the sky interesting at all whatsoever well there's yeah. always something in the sky <clears throat> that's true just, <laughs> just <can't> <laughs> it's <laughs> like where do the stars go like, they're <laughs> always there that's, that's, right. that's <laughs> like a cue for another song yeah it's gotta look uh <laughs> but i have i have a couple i know <clears throat> since dan was talking about waxing um mine is some of the waning but it's a waning crescent oh yeah yeah, the Cheshire? Yeah, the Cheshire cat one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it does look mm-hmm. like the creepy uh, cat But see, that thing makes sense to me. A crescent, because it looks like a crescent shape, right? Mm-hmm. What yeah. the heck's a gibbous? Well, I thought the gibbous was the <laughs> it's one. It's a just... gibbous shape, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Was like, it Latin? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not educated Latin. enough to know what a gibbous is. Yeah. That's yeah, like a special Yeah, admittedly, crew. yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't research like, you know, the, the prefix and suffix of mm. gi- gibbouses. <laughs> yeah. g- gibbous eye. Gibbye. Gibbous eye. Gibbous eye. I like gibbous eye. Yeah, gibbous eye. <laughs> Actually, we don't want to sound sci-fi. unintelligent here. Give us up. <laughs> it's 170 Never. episodes too late for that one. <laughs> Intelligence? Who's she? Uh, so, for, for uh, what I have for the waning crescent, it says the moon is nearly back to the point of orbit. That's why we see it. It's mm-hmm. pretty much dark aside from that, you know, slight crescent glow. Okay. Um, and in this case, it's directly facing us to the sun, so it's dark to us. So all we see from our perspective is a thin curve. So yeah. that's what it says. But yeah. what a what a waning crescent is. Yeah. So, um, and then I think you were talking about the half moon, right? Which Probably. He talked about the full moon. <laughs> okay, I thought he made a comment about that, but I always call it half moon. But I guess it's called a last quarter. Okay. Um, so it says that the moon looks like it's half illuminated from one side to mm-hmm. the other. So it's dark on one side, light on the other. So I've always called it a half moon. I think other people call it too, but I guess last quarter is the fancy word. Um, but yeah, you're only seeing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it says the last quarter moon, also known as a third quarter moon, rises around midnight and it sets around 12 noon the next day. So you can mm. still see it hmm. smack dab in the middle of the daytime. Yeah. 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 Which is pretty cool because I always, is. at least as a kid, I'm like, why is the moon still up? I'm mm-hmm. already awake. You know, that, <laughs> yeah. that logic. Like when you wake up, the sun's out. When you're asleep, the moon's supposed to be out. Mm-hmm. So when you see both, it's always kind of weird. Well, cartoons don't help it either. I feel like there's pictures of the moon with like a sleep cap on and a teddy bear, you know? <laughs> Makes yeah. you think the moon goes to bed at night. Right. <laughs> be like, don't get to work. Yeah. The moon. Yeah. <laughs> Time Do to clock in. Thing. That's right. Do the clock in, the moon clocks. <laughs> I think you have one, Cher. Yeah, do you have any uh, facts, moon facts for us? Uh, I've got one. You already went through. But I didn't even get to do mine. <gasps> Why not? Oh, well, I had new moon and you jumped right in. Oh, I'm sorry. Stole it. Stole it <laughs> I, right I didn't, out. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go no. through you a lot of detail. One. Gosh, your phone is so freaking bright. <laughs> can, we, can we lower that? It's a... It's a it's a waning gibbous. It's a bright gibbous. <laughs> the sun's illumination. Okay. It's, a, it's an eye wane. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Lord. Charity okay. likes her phones like. No, I like my phone sh- at normal brightness. Yeah, Char- Charity's phone is a new moon. <laughs> Hers is so dark. There's nothing yeah. wrong with a new moon. What do you phone. call? What do you call waxing gibbous on a human eye? A cataract. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, those ain't quite craters. You yeah. Yeah. yeah, we gotta get those looked at. <laughs> okay, uh, so mine uh, is a waxing crescent, which is kind of the opposite of what we've been talking about. So basically, like the moon kind of looks like a toenail still, like a clipped toenail, mm-hmm. but it's facing like further away. So it's just the opposite mm. side. So that know. is the waxing crescent. Mm. I like I like the, to- I like the toenail analogy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the one that DreamWorks uses for the little boy and the. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. And, uh, it's a DreamWorks moon. DreamWorks Wait. moon. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now I'm confusing that with Amblin. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's that's, that's ET in moon. the sky. That's, that's right. That's okay. A full moon. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. I think the DreamWorks isn't he fishing? Yeah. He's yeah, fishing. He's, yeah, that's right. Fishing off the moon fishing as yeah. as one does. As, yeah. as one does on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> when you sit on the pointy <laughs> edge. <laughs> As one definitely <laughs> tends to do. So we had mentioned earlier about yep. werewolves and their connection to the full moon. Oh, so what's yes. the opposite of a werewolf? 
vampire. A vegetarian. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting for like a Twilight joke because there's Twilight New Moon and Twilight Eclipse. Oh, okay. Oh, I was right. wondering if we were going to do some vampire stuff. I don't know these yes. things. I don't know these things you're talking about. What's a Twilight? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I know you're a closet Twilight fan, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you love I, your sparkly I, vampires. Somehow, I, well, and Team Jacob. At least, <laughs> at least for like uh, my oldest daughter, I think that we've jumped that. I, I never got into Twilight, or I don't think that she ever got into well, Twilight. I don't think you were the demographic for Twilight. Oh, definitely. At, at the time, okay. for everybody was the demographic for no, Twilight. No, as the father of, <laughs> oh, yeah, of yeah. a teen mm-hmm. that would be interested in, and maybe she read the books, but we never watched the movies. Um, well, she would have been young, but I got another time. one. Yeah. I got another one coming up. Yeah, yeah, but it seems like they jump. Uh, they? So every generation, and what's it been about 10, well, 15 that was, years? Was that two thousand nine so. when Twilight came out? It was, a, it yeah. was about like eighty seven. Eighty seven. That's Lost Boys. You're thinking Lost Boys. <laughs> Same thing. We're doing everything here. Yeah. It's like a prequel. <laughs> I like Kiefer Sutherland. Before it was Twilight, it was Sunday, Sunset. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, that's the Richard Linklater film. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, it all builds. It all builds. Yeah. So we were going to jump into, because we do two topics here, so we're going to do a real short topic, okay. and it's going to be vegetarian and, ve- and veganism, because you've heard us talk about it a bunch on the show, because I am, but not everybody may not know what it is. So yeah. ask me your questions, <laughs> yeah. ask, and I will tell you What's the, the, the expert. Okay, uh, i got one for you. So, have you ever done a midnight picnic, like when you were dating Sally, or, or maybe even now? Have you ever done? No, now I well, feel bad. No, what? no, no. Now, now you got to start. I yeah, know. Hear this podcast, okay. you'd be like, Damn. Oh, no, I mean, first I have to stay up till midnight, which well, is just, impossible. Yeah, but. You, just, you just have a like a late meal. Or a snack or bottle. Oh, it doesn't have to be at midnight. Oh yeah, I've done that. Yeah, nice. Oh, I've done that all the time. Just call it midnight. (laughs) Absolutely. We've been talking about the moon, so you have the giant moon, and you have your checkered blanket, yeah, and then you have your sandwiches and drinks. I've had it five p.m. So my uh, question. So my question. (laughs) It was like ten fifteen last night. I had beer and a bag of chips. Is that a midnight (laughs) picnic? That's what I was going to ask. So if it's if it's going to be a like a vegetarian vegan picnic, what would it be? Okay, so if it was a vegetarian picnic. Um, and you were going to do like kind of a if you're thinking of a traditional picnic type thing, mm-hmm. uh, cheese. Okay, it's good. You know, yeah. good to go mm-hmm. with cheese. Um, you could probably do some kind of like sandwich, like a veggie sandwich, mm-hmm. um, or classic PB and J. Definitely, you know, uh, works well for vegetarianism Wait, real and quick, veganism. Veggie sandwich, because right now I'm thinking of like a piece of celery between two pieces of no, bread. No, I think of like a caprese Tell sandwich, okay, you know? Okay, okay. Like get some basil, get some yeah. cheese, some tomato. Yeah. 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 Get the mozzarella on there. The full Dean Martin. Yeah. Cheese, crackers, fruit, sandwiches, you know, all that. So like like good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, and you yeah. could do a lot of that with veganism too, just without the cheese, or you could get faux cheese if you want to. Which, okay. which to me, always I never think of cheese as being like a substitute. Like you get like a vegan cheddar or something like that. Okay. That's fine. It's also just like a different flavor of cheese. So you know, like you can get like a sharp cheddar or an aged cheddar or something like that. You can get a vegan cheddar. It just tastes slightly different. Okay. I yeah. couldn't get into the vegan cheeses. Just the texture was off because mm-hmm. I, I yeah. was vegan for two years and like that texture would threw me. I couldn't do it. And it depends. You got to try a bunch of them because there's all like some people are gonna like one more than like yeah. another, and it's just it's kind of a mess. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, and so, but I mean, it's, it's, that's one thing to keep in mind too. It's like vegetarian. We use the term vegetarian. A vegetarian typically means ovo lacto vegetarian, which means somebody that would eat eggs and cheese, mm-hmm. but not mm-hmm. any other kind of like red meat or anything like that. Uh, or whereas veganism doesn't typically you eat anything from any animals animal at all, products, like any yeah. animal products or any animal byproducts. Now, mm. um, you do also have ethical vegans who typically won't eat or buy things that are made from mm-hmm. or tested on animals so that's also a different category um that you might get you know thrown at you but it's all you know it's just it's labels labels are fun we use yeah. labels to categorize things yeah. i feel like that would be a bit of a challenge not necessarily in the food aspect but just stuff that might have some animal product in it because it seems like that's everywhere it can be yeah. it can definitely be a challenge so like one thing you could look for in like uh, shoes for example is pu leather um, it's like usually like a plastic based or like a faux leather um, that's on stuff. So, you know, you can get like shoes with like ton, you know, like insole or whatever it is. That, like, and has it'll be stuff. labeled because they're very 
it's very loud and proud that it's like mm -hmm. yeah. vegan. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you just get stuff that's accidental. So I like things that are accidentally vegan. So there are just like some things, um, like French fries at a lot of restaurants, right, mm -hmm. are just typically either vegan or vegetarian. Or Oreos. Or Oreos, for example. No, Oreos yeah. or that's another thing. Yeah. So McDonald's French fries are not. They use beef flavoring, although that might be artificial now. Kind of depends on. Well, uh, it's, it's McDonald's. Who you talk to? I mean, who knows so. what's real? It's all fake yeah. anyway. It's like those <laughs> yeah. McRibs at there. I'm like, I could eat a McRib. It's yeah. just nothing but chemicals anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's why you eat it with, with no guilt. It's That's like, right. It's not real meat. Well, I'm definitely a waning vegan. <laughs> 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 so, so when you were like going in between in terms of starting out vegetarian and going vegan, and then I think you're back to vegetarian. Yes, now. that's correct. So. Was that a difficult transition between the two? Uh, somewhat. So it depends on where you live, right? Uh, the more options that you have, it's a little bit easier. If you want to keep eating things that are like unhealthy, mm -hmm. like I do, yeah. um, <laughs> then a lot of times it's more difficult to find things that don't have like, you know, uh, microwavable meals that don't have like cheese and stuff like mm -hmm. that built mm -hmm. into them already. Uh, I had friends in college that were raw food vegan. And uh, that's that like, was that's like very hippie, dish, just like it? nothing cooked, mm -hmm. like just wow. you know fruits and veggies. Although I couldn't do that, but uh, yeah, it can be definitely challenging. Mm -hmm. COVID definitely helped with uh, transitioning back because it's just yeah. one of those things where it was like oh, this is way too much. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. we just want to do something easy. <laughs> this is so much <laughs> effort to put into. But mm -hmm. you know, I think that um, there's also a lot of like scientific studies about different um, diets, whether it's like Blue Zone, which is a lot more plant forward, but still has things like fish in it or like small helpings of meat. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do like scientific reasons not to eat. You can do ethical reasons not to eat. Uh, so it kind of just depends on like what is important to you. And, you know, in life we all we have to make choices about yeah. the things that are like important. So it's like, you know, if eating's a certain thing or like living a certain way, if the, that way, if that's important to you, that's fine. If doing other things is important to you and you're not like worried so much about food consumption, that's that's great. You know, as long as yeah. you're as long as you're doing things you care about and things that matter, that's that's the important thing. That's fair. See, I was a vegan, but I felt like I was always cheating on my boyfriend because I definitely still had cheese. So yep. I was like a vegan with cheese. So vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. But then like yeah. there were some things where I was like, I'm going to be good. And then I would find out, oh, there was actually, you know, meat or some sort of sauce. And that's or the biggest and it thing. Would, it would mess it all up. So I was just like, well, so much for that. And that's the biggest thing is not to be perfect, right? Like yeah. perfection is not really the goal. It's just to do your best. Mm -hmm. There are people that go out in the world and they just, I think I mentioned this before that I can't stand that just like will complain about things if they're like, oh, it's not prepared this way at like this restaurant. So I'm like, mm -hmm. if you want things your way, eat at home yeah go yeah. Home. make the it's food exactly. eat at home if you're gonna go out just understand that you can only do your best you're not gonna be perfect and mm -hmm. just go with that mm -hmm. yeah yeah well, one more question uh, yeah. if we got enough time when so have, have you and sally both always been like that or when you guys met or you guys you know was she always? when we met no so okay. in high school when we yeah. had first met no uh not for either of us yeah sally and her brother actually went vegetarian first okay. um her, I think her brother did first and then she went vegetarian and first it was like a very slow transition so it was like no red meat and then no meat in general and then it kind of went that way I was a holdout I've been a vegetarian now for over 10 years I want to say maybe 13 years at this point um, so it was definitely a transition and I did it for originally like scientific reasons I had read some studies and some books and things like that that uh, convinced me to try to be healthier anyway yeah. that would be good and then of course the ethics also factor into it as well but um, so I've so I'm the like the early or the newest one in comparison but again it's mm -hmm. been over a decade at this point so yeah, okay. yeah I think that counts <laughs> I think it counts, yep. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it helps you guys do it as a couple versus, like, one's doing it and the other one's just chowing down on some She was so something. sweet. She yeah. would make me food and stuff like that when we would eat that would be, like, meat-based food. And it just got oh, to be okay. a part where that was kind of unfair to her. So what we did is we ate vegetarian at home, and then when we went out, I would just have whatever, you know, oh, like at a oh, restaurant nice, or something yeah. like that. That's, yeah. that's a, that's a, that's yeah. a fair... Unless I made the yeah. food, then I could make, you know, kind of whatever, but I would always make something for her because, you know, yeah. that would Aww. not be fair either, so... What yeah. a good marriage you guys well, have. Making oh, two separate It's not like I made a lot either. I was like, you know... <laughs> 20 at the time whenever it was so he's like this will do this things do are more fair now <laughs> no but oh, thank you guys cool. uh, for your questions and uh oh thanks for talking to me about the moon too the moon's yeah. awesome i love the moon yeah. so sarah if we want if they, people want to hear more about the moon 
or vegetarianism, where can they hear it? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm sorry, not this show. <laughs> are, 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 are you sure you want to have us being the, the be all end all? I do, experts. I do. This is the beginning of our, our moon focused podcast. So, the yeah. full moon. The moon is made out of vegan cheese. I think that's our <laughs> conclusion. So, if you want to listen to lunar related topics or other things that we talk about, uh, yeah, check us out on our website, doublestuffpod.com. Of course, we're available on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Double Stuff Podcast. And of course, on Twitter X at Double Stuff P, and that's the letter P. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>